the struggle is real. Uh, so much pain. So much pain. Being a woman. It sucks. Cramping. Uh, cramping. Uh, Luna. Get me. Men, they just don't understand the pain. I need, I need a pill. No, I got it. I got, I got what I need. I got it. I, uh, uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn Lewis, and I'm so honored to have you here joining me for another All About Crystals video. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a crystal expert. This is just based on research I have found, as well as my own personal journey and experience with using these crystals during my healing um, work, as well as my own personal use. Now, keep in mind that if you have any, you know, additional information regarding this, please feel free to share it down below in the comments section knowledge is power and it only helps people understand now in honor of the full moon energy coming up soon i wanted to do a video on what is known as rainbow moonstone or moonstone as well technically just keep in mind technically moonstone and rainbow moonstone are two different stones moonstone has more of a clearer white look it kind of looks like this but i believe this is actually opalite it's not moonstone but it's very similar moonstone doesn't have the black pieces that you see rainbow moonstone does initially discovered in 1918 on the first japanese expedition to mount kilimanjaro moonstone was discovered by the team and since then we as a society have been exposed to this absolutely gorgeous Gorgeous stone. Rainbow Moonstone, as you can see, consists of that prism like look and crystalline structure. However, it is what is known as a tricycline crystal, which means that it is unevenly angled, like the angles and the sides are not even. However, as you'll also notice, you'll notice the black pieces within a rainbow moonstone that is actually consistent of labradorite. Labradorite is great for this type of stone because of how the stone's medical physical properties work so the labradorite actually is a good um companion to the moonstone itself now metaphysically rainbow moonstone is associated with your sacral chakra your third eye and your crown chakra now due to this the your intuitive um, abilities and psychic abilities can greatly be enhanced when you're using rainbow moonstone also because it's so closely connected to your crown it's great for meditating as well rainbow moonstone with the labradorite can help also protect against negative energies especially if you're opening up that third eye of yours because labradorite is very good at protecting against negative energies and psychic attacks so the two of them combined create a really powerful freaking crystal now, metaphysical properties also include being able to enhance your calmness and abilities, enhance your relaxation, but also allow you to see things clearly. It does stimulate your pineal gland, which is tied to your third eye chakra. Now, going into more of a physical aspect of rainbow moonstone and how it can benefit you ladies this is your best friend if you are having cramp issues pms issues menstrual cycle issues this is your best friend moonstone or rainbow moonstone i find the two of them could probably work hand in hand um, it doesn't matter which stone you use or another because both of them pretty much kind of work the same way. However, ladies, this is great for you, especially if you are experiencing a lot of that pain. But also, if you're trying to get pregnant, it helps promote childbirth. It helps, you know, keep your, you know, your reproductive organs in check because it's also tied, as I mentioned earlier, it's also tied to your sacral chakra. And that's why this is great for symptoms and situations like that. If you're trying to have that, you know, that new baby, if you're trying to get pregnant, it, if you're trying and you're having difficulty or you've had difficult pregnancies, you always want to keep one of these little guys with you. It really, really does help. I know I personally use this 
for you know my own little lady problems also when it comes to men men you can use this or ladies if you have a man who needs to open up more you can use this sneak it into his pocket without him looking they can use this to help open up more rebalance their emotions because because what it does is it helps balance the masculine and feminine side men can definitely use this especially if you have a guy that just doesn't want to open up another key physical trait that rainbow moonstones can also do is it can clear away toxins in your body it helps the digestive system it helps those the nutrients responsible for helping you digest everything it helps also with skin hair nails and eyes um, promote that promote those parts of your body as well as enhances its, their um, you know nutritional conditions so these are great for um, aspects of your physical health in that regard as well now rainbow moonstone doesn't normally come in a spherical form all the time I just like the fact that it's a spherical form because it reminds me of the moon and we all know what the moon is and with the rainbow moonstone it just made more sense to me for it to be the shape of a sphere it can come as a size of uh, as it can come as a palm stone is it can come is a hard cluster um, a raw cluster it really doesn't matter so any type of moonstone that you receive energetically you'll notice that it is um, I just recharged and cleared this crystal this morning because its energetic field and level was like literally down here it was not good so I had to recharge and recleanse it and now I'm just trying to gently feel its energetic um, field now and I'm noticing that it's a lot better now but that's all I have in terms of Rainbow Moonstone. I really hope that this information benefited you greatly. Sending you all love and light and wishing you well during the full moon. Bye.